Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah. If you're new here, these are my bookshelves. I have been doing a little series on this channel about all of the books on my shelf, you know, what's on my shelf. You know, I talk about a lot of books, but which ones do I actually have purchased for myself that I have displayed behind me? And today's video and part of that series is going to be a little different. Today, we're going to be talking about all of my non-books on my shelf. All of the trinkets, all of the little decor pieces, and just talk about the story behind each one and uh, kind of why it is where it is. So I'm going to flip you around and I will give you a little bit of a tour of all of my trinkets, knickknacks, paddywhacks, and decor on my shelf. All right, well, the very top left shelf is my comic books, graphic novels, and manga shelf. And we can already see I have a few knickknacks on this one. This little guy is a piggy bank, but he is a green teddy bear. And this was what I had as a child to um, store my little spare change. And I would fill her up and then I'd give it to my parents to bring to the bank so I could get some cash and spend it at the, obviously the Scholastic Book Fair. <laughs> uh, what else? We have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle a hard plastic figurine. I got that from my roommate in college. This zebra stress toy um, I got from my sister when I was really stressed at work. <laughs> This is a Darth Vader Pez dispenser <laughs> that I got from one of my high school best friends when I moved to college. She was a year younger than me, so we were separated uh, a year early while she was still in high school. But she sent me a little care package of Pez with this Pez dispenser. And then we have my pink Lego cup with some Lego figurines attached that are unicorn based, <laughs> which is just a lot of fun. But in the cup, I have all sorts of bookmarks and I have my book hook, which is an accessibility tool I use for holding books open. Moving on from the top left, we're going to go top right. This is my romance books as well as the books I've read for the month. So I'll gather all the books I've read here. So when I'm filming, I can just grab them to hold them up for a thumbnail. But this is a glass boot. <laughs> this is a glass boot that my father had. He had a pair of them. You'll see the other one soon um, that he had in his office and he used it to store pens and markers and scissors and stuff at his desk at his office and when he moved out of that office he gave them to me um, and so I use them for the exact same thing and I also like them to uh, divide the shelf space a little bit. Moving straight down this um, is a railroad spike <laughs> which seems maybe odd to you maybe a little random but I went to college in a town where there was a pretty heavily trafficked railroad line running through it. One of my college dorm rooms was literally right next to the train. <laughs> so sometimes you'd be rocked to sleep by the vibrations the train would make. And this is a railroad spike that my roommate found and she passed it along to me and we used it as a doorstop. <laughs> we would you know, use it to prop the door open because it was just thin enough to um, stick under the door when it was, was open. So it would be like this. And we'd prop our door open with that, which is kind of just a fun souvenir. Okay, moving to the left, we've got the second boot, um, which is just really being used for decor on top of my poetry collection. And again, I've just got more pens and highlighters in here as well. Nothing too fancy. I've got books for the rest of the shelves, but over here I have a few more trinkets. The first being 
this giant toothless figurine <laughs> that was a gift from my sister <laughs> and it's a it's a, one of the big Funko Pops um you know the Funko Pops are normally like this big and he's like triple the size and when he came he didn't have pupils and so he looked really scary and so I used black sharpie and just gave him some <laughs> more kind looking eyes <laughs> but I love him he sits on my shelf and uh how to train your dragon is one of my favorite movies of all time and toothless is a gem <laughs> and I love him very much and then next to it, we just have this glass vase um, and it's full of fairy lights. So let me turn it on. So it has some blue fairy lights in it. So when I'm wanting to get cozy at night, I will turn this on and I just like how the light reflects through the colored glass. This was a gift from my foster coordinator. Last thing I'll talk about is on the tops of my shelves, I have another toothless, um, but up there I just have some bins with some storage, some workout equipment, extra journals, you know, cards from family members, random knickknacks and patty wacks that I don't really want to get into, but they are up there. Anyway, that is, uh, that's it. It's a really short little quick video, but those are all of my trinkets that I have on my shelves. I don't have a ton. I'm not really a trinket person, but if it's a gift or um, something given to me by a friend or family, I will keep it and display it proudly on my shelves. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye.